Apple secretly released Ferret, an open source large language model integrating language understanding with image analysis. It's Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024, and this is episode 84 of the Tech Review. Now with a slightly different name. Yay Space is the new Tech Review. And it's shorter and more frequent, so you get the most important news even faster. I'm Tarek Madani Mamluk, your friendly neighborhood innovation engineer. In a surprising move, Apple has quietly launched Ferret. The Ferret. An open source large language model developed in collaboration with Cornell University, as reported by Data Economy. Unlike traditional language models, Ferret combines language understanding with image analysis, allowing it to analyze specific regions of images and respond to prompts involving both text and visuals. The release signifies Apple's move towards openness, presenting challenges in scaling against larger models like GPT-4 due to infrastructure limitations. However, the potential impact on Apple devices is immense, promising improved image-based interactions, augmented user assistance, enriched media understanding and a platform for developer innovation. But what does this mean? And now, this. Apple's Ferret LLM has emerged as a silent but powerful player in the AI landscape. Breaking away from Apple's typical secrecy, Ferret is an open source model developed in collaboration with Cornell University, uniquely integrating language understanding with image analysis. This fusion allows Ferret to go beyond textual comprehension and extend into the world of visuals, analyzing specific elements within images and incorporating them into responses. The technological proficiency of Ferret lies in its visual integration, enabling it to respond to queries involving both text and images. For example, it can identify objects within image and leverage surrounding elements to provide deeper insights, creating a more contextual and comprehensive understanding. What sets Ferret apart is not just its capabilities, but also Apple's strategic move towards openness. By releasing Ferret as an open source model on GitHub, Apple is inviting developers and researchers to explore, enhance and refine its capabilities, fostering a collaborative ecosystem. But the license excludes commercial use. However, challenges lie ahead for Apple in scaling Ferret to compete with industry giants like GPT-4. Infrastructure limitations raise questions about the model's ability to deploy large-scale language models efficiently. Strategic decisions such as potential partnerships or further embracing open source principles may be necessary to overcome these hurdles. The potential impact of Ferret on Apple devices is considerable, promising enhanced user experiences and functionalities. Improved image-based interactions with Siri, advanced visual search functionalities, augmented user assistance for accessibility needs, and enriched media and content understanding are amongst the potential benefits. Developers too stand to benefit from Ferret's capabilities with opportunities to create innovative applications across various domains. However, the implementation of Ferret into Apple products depends on factors like technological feasibility, user privacy considerations and the extent of integration into existing Apple software and hardware. Bart David from OpenMet Future wrote on X, Ferret's introduction is a testament to Apple's commitment to impactful AI research, solidifying its place as a leader in the multimodal AI space. Way to go, Apple. <laughs> P.S. I'm looking forward to the day when local large language models run on my iPhone as an integrated service of a redesigned iOS. And running LLMs on device might be closer than we think. A week ago, TechRadar.com reported that Apple is working on a way to make their phones run their own large language models. This could mean exciting AI features on device. Apple researchers shared their findings in a pair of papers. The challenge is that iPhones have limited memory and modern AI models like GPT-4 are massive and hard for phones to handle. Apple's solution involves two techniques. Windowing, where the AI reuses processed data to reduce the load on the hardware, and row-column bundling, 
which organizes data into big chunks for better language understanding and generation. Thanks for listening to Yay Space, the tech review. We'll be back tomorrow with what you need to know right now.